the chimes of Big Ben. With the surging crowd, as soon as I walked out of Westminster Station, I was stunned to see the Big Ben I wanted to see very much. It is not an exaggeration to say that I was stunned, because the image of her must be in a solemn atmosphere, and she needs to be approached step by step from far to near. I never thought that just after leaving the station, I saw her standing across the street so close. The street was full of traffic and crowds, and she looked down quietly, looking very kind and admirable. Looking up, the top of the towering tower is inlaid with a square and dignified big four-sided clock. The dial of the clock is large, and the color is ancient white with a golden glow. The shield on the tower is said to represent all four major regions of the United Kingdom. The beautiful rose, thistle, clover, and leek represent England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales respectively. Her base is boxy, thick, and stable. This Gothic Revival-style design, which was always seen in movies in the past, now magically appears in front of you, which is very shocking. Slowly walk up to the bridge that is a few steps away. From here, it is a different scene. The beautiful and gentle Thames River surrounds the majestic and dignified Parliament building of the United Kingdom and the ancient palace of Westminster. And the towering Big Ben at the north end of the palace is even more resplendent and resplendent. The reason why Big Ben has become a world-recognized symbol of British culture, one of the most prominent symbols of British parliamentary democracy, and listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is it just because of her magnificent appearance and beauty? Duong, the bell rang, the majestic and loud bell rang through the sky and went straight to the sky, but I felt that the sound was not harsh or deafening at all, but it shook the heart strings very much. The sound was enough to arouse the resonance of the soul and shake people's hearts. Yes, this chime sound is just the vitality of Big Ben, her soul, and her eternal essence. The bell rang every 15 minutes, and on the hour of the hour, she always told the time exactly. When you listen carefully to the voice in the bell, you will feel that she is talking about the ferry on the Thames, the cultural relics in the British Museum, the past of Buckingham Palace, and interesting stories about Tower Bridge in London. In this sound of the bell, it seems that the calm and firm sound of the bell during the Second World War came. The sounds of the bell rang over London in which had experienced thousands of air raids, the solemn and joyful bell rings. The sounds of the bell are rippling in the cheers of thousands of people. This sound of the bell appears in the broadcast of the news announcement on TV. It appears in the crowd celebrating the new year. Amidst the laughter, it is ringing in the hearts of Londoners and people who come to London to commemorate the 60th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's accession to the throne. On June 26, 2012, Big Ben was officially renamed the Elizabeth Tower. The Queen is deeply admired and loved by many people in the UK and the world, and the name of the clock tower really complements each other. This bell also always shows the deep commemoration in people's hearts. However, I might prefer the name Big Ben, especially her melodious and deep chime.